price, of which I did not do the math. So Brian, you're gonna have to do the math for me. I forgot to do the math on this one. Thank you. All right, so let's talk about this. You're saving $26 off the normal QVC price right here on something that is going to be a, like a standout, like a, a, a focal point, a talking piece in your garden. This is the folk art design animal indoor or outdoor garden statue. Move this baby around so you can see. Oink, oink. Look how cute this is. This is M70252, normally $74.70, coming home today for $48.54, $9.71 on your five easy pays. Now, I have it here, obviously, in the pig with his little pink nose all the way to his curly Q tail. Oh my goodness, only 190 of the little piggy to go around. This is true like artisan looking. It looks like you took that weekend away in Cambria, right? Or Carmel by the sea. And you stopped by a little shop where there is a craftsman who specializes in this sort of artwork. That's what this looks like to me. So this is your piggy. And let's take a look at the others. We got, the, we got you the turtle but only two dozen now remain in that turtle. I like how he's kind of lowered to the ground, kind of peeking out of your flower bed. There is your hen, but only seven dozen of the hen. Wow, there's not many of these to go around. Remember clearance price means when we sell out of one of these little guys, we're not getting it back in stock. Oh, and always my mommy's favorite. My mother loves frogs more than anything. So, we, oh, shh, we only have about 120 left in the frog. I better get my phone and get on that because I just know she's going to love that. She loves all things froggies and all things craft looking, folk art looking, and then of course everything for her garden. So let's talk about this. This is so cute. I know. I oh, know. Julia, I love these so much because first of all, if anyone has watched our shows through the years, you know I adore Plow and Hearth. Um, metal metal art and it's so cool because they've taken that idea of this these metal sculptures and then did the fun painting on them and i'll tell you i was a child of the 60s and this reminds me of flower power oh so yes i love the bright colors i love the textures of all the metal on there it looks like you know you've got this little pig who almost, it almost looks like she's got little wings on her. So, you know, you could think about that oh, phrase yeah. when kings fly, right? <laughs> yes. And look at that. And then you've got the just beautiful metal work, but then look at all that hand painting. And not only are there pink flowers or blue flower, flowers, but each one is outlined. Mm -hmm. So there's so much effort that goes into this that Plown Hearth did a beautiful job. And you may think, oh, that's so beautiful. I can't use that outside. Yes, you can. They wanted you to be able to enjoy something that's beautiful and colorful outside. And so these have been treated so you can put them right out in your garden. I love these kind of tucked amongst your plants, maybe up on your front porch. Um, if you have like a little table next to your front door, how cute would that hen or that pig or mm. even the turtle be? The other thing too is the pig and the frog both have pretty flat backs. So if you wanted to use this almost like as a little plant stand, you know, you could put a little plant kind of right on top of it. So, so many different ways to use them, but really beautifully crafted. And I love how you mentioned Mendocino and Cambria. Boy, did that send me back to the California coast. Oh, yeah. And yes, there's those really cool little artsy stores that this would be just the kind of thing that you would find in those, in those really cool little towns. Oh, I love but those Clown Hearth has done it for you. You so. can spend hours in those little towns yeah. just walking up and down the main drag and the antique stores and everything mm -hmm. is so just unique. And that's what you get, that whole vibe, that uniqueness. That's what we right. love about Plow and Hearth. In addition to the construction and the whimsical little creatures, you're looking right there at the little piggy. I didn't even notice that it looked like it had wings. So when pigs fly, oh, I yeah. love it. There's your froggy, which is going to be my mommy's favorite. I know that This much. one right here. Oh, there it is. There's the froggy. Oh, look, at look at its little eyes. This is so adorable. And its little webbed feet. I can't yep, stand there's it. There's little webbed feet. I think this is one of my favorite things in this show. I can't start, I can't stop loving on it. Look at its little eyes. I know, they're great. You know, that's that fun plow and hearth touch. You've got something that's a really cool metal, metal sculpture. And then they added all these really fun colors. You know, I often say, I'm an impatient gardener because I can hardly wait till I see color. I'm going to plant my plants and then I'm practically hovering over them going, okay, bloom. And <laughs> this is something that you kind of get those blooms already. And yet right. you don't have to water. You don't have to fertilize. You don't have to do anything. You just get to enjoy 
an adorable crit it's critter. It's instant but gratification. Also pretty colors. Yeah, yeah it is. I love me some instant gratification. I miss a Polaroid camera more than well. I guess we kind of get it on our iPhones and stuff now, but they're just like each one is more adorable than the last. It's just you know my my aunt, my mother's sister, she loves all things pigs and she loves to garden too, even mm -hmm. though she lives in a, uh, a gorgeous. Uh, apartment in New York, but she, it was really important for her to have outdoor space to grow things and herbs and flowers. Maybe a little piggy for Aunt Linda over there. Uh, Brian, can we ca take a look at the other options? Is that cool, my friend? Okay, so piggy, there is your hen. Hen has been the most popular. Do you have a matriarch in the family who you refer to as the mother hen? That's perfect for her, especially for um, not Valentine's Day. We just had Valentine's Day, uh, Mother's Day. <laughs> I had a moment. Five dozen left in that hen. There's our turtle, but really, really limited on that turtle. Do not wait if you have a turtle lover. Remember the tortoise and the hare. The tortoise always wins the race. There's a froggy, but only 110 to go around. I just love that little, can we go back to the froggy for one moment? I'm just shopping for my mom, guys. I just love, I'm like imagining her garden, her plow and hearth garden, and she has like these little flower beds throughout, interspersed throughout, and all these different creatures and sculptures and things hanging from the trees. It's, a, it's like an artist's haven back there, an outdoor artist's haven. Um, and just having that little guy with his little nose poking up like through the flower beds, I'm here for it. All right, sorry, I digressed. What else we have? There's that hen again. Oh, the piggy, which I got right here. And then another look at your turtle. It's M70252. Um, this just brings me so much joy. I don't even know what else to say. It's pure joy. It's on a clearance price. Oh, that's also joyful. A $48.54 you're saving. How much was it, Ryan? $26? Thank you for doing the math for me. $9.71 on your five easy pay. Oh, just so cute.